All right, this is for the magazine. And the question here is that how I should go to keep a balance between practicing what I know better or insisting on weak areas that we may have. Well, this is one thing because when we, when we play, generally, of course, the Alsapua level, the, th the performance level you have with the thumb is different from the scale. You, you may have more scales, plus gear weak or other things. So I generally will advise you to keep the balance. Of course, play what is your strength, but we have to hit there when there are areas or weaknesses, we have to kill those weaknesses. And this is very important, and that's what the the role of the teacher should be to supervise that. And for those who know me, when you are there, I and said, this is wrong, oh, careful, repeat that, or get it better, or this can be better. It's because I became expert to find out what's your weak spot. And then generally, sometimes I go over that only, because I want you to, to become stronger. Let's say, for example, we are playing an improvisation. And then we said, well, I prefer fingering one. And then I said, well, do you know figure in five? And they go, no. <laughs> That's why they said that. So it's not that you prefer that, but you, you don't know the other thing. And That's why you say you prefer it. Many rationalizations come there, come, comes there to, the, to the play of these mind tricks. And the easiest way is that if you don't know how to find that, you should ask your teacher. Uh, which areas I need to improve. Some people is very good rhythmically and then melodically maybe not so good. Others are good in melodies with great imagination for creating melodies. And then maybe the rhythm is not so good. So we have to be more or less balanced. Like I was explaining this about the playing with different fingerings <laughs> on the the piece of your answer, you, you may find that you prefer one fingering, that's right. But this doesn't mean that you don't know how to play with the other fingerings. You prefer one, but you are jamming there, you maybe will, will try to do what, what you know will be your best, or with what you feel more comfortable playing. But this doesn't mean that you don't know the other stuff. You should know all the fingerings well, and learn to play. And if, if one fingering, for example, you feel that you don't sound so well with that, then you should just go to that weak spot until you become strong. And that's the way. Because most of other people lessons are, we can say, make an emphasis or emphasize on things that the students can do. And then this becomes a sort of entertainment thing in which you really, your level is the same. If I don't correct what you are doing, or what you have weak, you will stay the same level. And because my success is to make you play better, I need to make sure that you will go up the level. I have to pull that level up. And to do that, we have to find out what is the, the weak part, and insist on that, kick it there until it's killed the obstacle or the you feel that you can flow with it. In fact, Kenny Warner said also that in the very first, first issue of the magazine, I recommend you to go back and listen to the lecture of Kenny Warner gave there. Because this is very important. There are things that you handle, and there are things that you have trouble handling. And those ones there are, needs special attention unless you want to remain the same. So if you want to improve your level, you need to find the areas also through the study program in which you may be weak. I tell you this because I have many students and now some of them which are not even related to directly uh, pure flamenco playing or kind of accompaniment with that, they also want to, to improve those areas, falsetas or other stuff, which they maybe will not use a lot, but they want to know also that even if their strength is other, other area. So, this is good to do always. I also want to find out my weak areas. And to do that, I will ask you to do an experiment. How, how we can become objective on this thing is that you record yourself. For example, let's say in the creativity 
containers that you, in, you put the video at the same volume you will play and then record yourself playing a couple of minutes soloing back and forth with me and then you compare those that recording you do that recording one day and then 15 days after you record it again and then you see both things and then you will find if, if it is better the two weeks after stuff than the other and if it is the same then we have a problem in Houston and we are not addressing it this is not good. If it is the same, there is a problem because you should be always better. As I said, this thing, the, the outcome, the real outcome of the study, of, of what we are learning here in CFG, it, it becomes subjective and objective. You have to feel you are improving and it has to be true <laughs> also because some people think they are great and they may not. That's why we are checking. I serve as a mirror. I pass through all. The, the things you are passing through now, the study program, and then I, therefore I know what would be better for you. We will try everything available to make you play better and successfully. But recording yourself is a great advice. Really do it. Look, I have near 2,000 videos, and I myself I am used to this recording. Sometimes I, I watch stuff from a long time ago, and I, I say, uh, wow, that, that could be played better. Or, we can see ourselves from outside. When we are playing the stuff, we are so much over concerned to, to play it that we don't listen how we are sound, how our sound is or how we are sounding. So a good thing would be that you record yourself every week or every other week and then compare your progress, your sound, your tone. On everything there may be a chance to improve. And that's what it's about our lessons. Because if you get better, then that's my pain. And that's why I do what I do to share these things with you. So thank you for asking such an interesting question from the magazine. And thank you for participating in this project. And I will see you next time.